of the competition but let's look at the SBS first okay and then we look at the competition all right so ladies and gentlemen where do we start from today where do we start from today where do we start today we got quite a lot to start with let's this is GBP USD that's the box this is a euro dollar that's the box this is USD Swiss francs that's the box this is the New Zealand US dollar that's the box that is USD card that's the box that's the Australian dollar that's the box and this is Japanese yen that's the box so let's start with our usual GBP USD fingers on the buzzer please fingers on the buzzer okay amodu taiwo is new all right no worries no worries no worries no worries we shall bring you along okay we shall bring you along you will understand every bit of it never mind it's as simple as a b c <laughs> the number one simplest forest strategy on the internet that makes money okay i mean uh, someone has just confirmed to you he made 900 pips today let me read it again to you uh if i can find it all right if i can find that statement okay i'm at too many at too many says thank you so much dare today i made 900 pips 900 plus pips profit by your techniques so at money at money keep it up uh some professional traders they will they'll be dying to have 900 pips in a month and you achieve that in one single day well done i like the way you didn't mention about dollars you mentioned about pips because pips is more important than the dollar okay so if you know how to make pips the dollar will follow but don't think about dollar because you might be taking too much risk because you are chasing the dollar. But if you are chasing the pips, then you will be all right because you will have a good money management in place because you are focusing on pips, not on the dollar. Therefore, you will not be taking excessive risk. If you are focusing on dollar, say, oh, I need to make one thousand dollar today oh one thousand dollar how can i do that okay if i trade 10 standard lots okay and i make 10 pips oh yeah that is one thousand dollars yeah that's correct you are correct but what about if you hit your stop loss target of 50 pips that's five thousand dollar loss okay so but when you are talking in terms of pips i made 50 pips today 50 pips could be worth anything to you. It could be worth from $5 to $5 million. <laughs> Thank you so much, Atmani, Atmani. I like your style. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Who oh, is this, Robert? You already said number two. Number two to what? <laughs> All right, fingers on the buzzer. All right, we are ready to do that now. Fingers on the buzzer. I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see. Okay, so which is our trigger candle? One or two? One or two? Fingers on the buzzer, please. Number one or number two? Hey, Robert. Ah, uh -uh. where did you see the answer? <laughs> you know the answer before the question, huh? Are you not sure whether you got it right? So, number one, number two, fingers on the buzzer, please. Okay, Trader Newbie 2, Matthew 2, Adekule 3. I'm on the Adekule, check it out. I didn't mention three. I didn't say three, I said one or two. <laughs> Jayes 2, Jacob 2, Nkube 2. Colato 2, Yemi 2, Mohamed 2, Adekunle 2. Okay, good stuff. You corrected yourself. Great stuff. Thank you for getting that right. Excellent. Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn. Shapiro. Jocelyn. How are you, Jocelyn? 
is this your first time coming to this channel here joining this live session jason to muhammad to francisco to ah okay ladies and gentlemen that was so easy isn't it <laughs> that was easy pc ah no it's just because you know the strategy that's why you it's it's so easy for you <laughs> okay you just joined okay good stuff good stuff all right by the way if you need to join the telegram go ahead and do that that's the telegram uh is that the telegram link yes that should be it yes that's the telegram link you can go ahead and join that telegram group there and then it's gonna be great it's going to be great. You're going to learn a lot today. Okay. Mr. C also said to. Okay. Jocelyn. First time. Good stuff. I have that uh, knack to pick people out. If you are first time. Even among 1,000 people. I will probably fish you out. <laughs> okay. So. If you tell me your answer is number one. It's completely wrong. Because. Card number one is. Some of it is inside, some of it is outside. However, card number two is completely outside and it's not touching the line. Okay, so that was correct. Okay, that was really, really correct. Okay, now, so we know that card number two is our trigger candle. So we're going to put our buy order there. So that's the buy line at the close of that, tri of that trigger candle. We put our buy line here. Okay. So that's where we buy from. Okay. We all know if we buy from this line, this will be our stop loss line here. So you can add one or two pips to this one and put your stop loss there. Your take profit target is the size of this box here. The size of the box. So let's measure the size of this box here. Size of the box is 32 pips. So let's run it up to 32, 31 point something, but let's call it 32 pips. Size of the box is 32 pips. Okay. So size of the box is 32 pips and we went long from here. So let's see what happened. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see what happened in the day. Okay. So that's the same box. So what happened is we got into a buy order here. The price went to our favor. He hit some uh, high. Let's see what height high it hits. Okay, we are looking for 20. Did we say 20 what? Or 32 pips. Okay, so we are looking for 32 pips. 32 pips from here. Uh, but we only got 22 pips before it reverses on us. Okay. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me say when I make so much 22 pips, I will not let it reverse back to hit my stop loss. I will rather come out at break even. So this is the case for today. So either you come out break even or you make 10 pips here or you make 5 pips or probably some people will let it run though it worked today. But sometimes when it runs this way, it might run down and hit your stop loss. So be, be aware of that. Okay. So the first trade give us 25 pips. Let's see where we got the 20, 32 pips. Oh, let's see the maximum we got. We got 60, 63.3. Why? Right. It's short of, short of 64 pips. Right. So you are going to hit your TP1 here and you may be able to get to TP2, but it's very, very close because it's near to 64 pips. OK, so our first trade was wonderful. It was TP1 all the way and plus a lot of other pips available for pick. However, if you have done what I normally advise that once you make up to 10 pips and the price and the market reverse against you okay you come out at your break even so the first trade you make nothing no profit break even okay because it has gone in your favor and it start reversing back you come out of or at break even here 
and then you wait again to go long. Now this time, you see, you got you even got a better price. So this second chance, let me zoom in. So this second chance, this is the candle that will take you into the market. Okay. So this second chance, you go into the market through this candle. This is a breakout candle again. Because these two candles are not a breakout candle. None of them is outside completely. So this is the breakout candle. So you go long from here. And this time around, let's see if you can eat your TP1 and TP2. So from here, TP1, TP2, where we come. This is now 60, nearly 70 pips. 70 pips this time around. Okay, because you got a better entry than the initial the initial entry was here the better entry was here so if you enter this first trade you might have made 10 pips or 15 pips whatever or you have break even you wait again on the re-entry see the price went to this box and came out again and you re-enter from here and you have a, sh a a long run okay excellent any questions okay so francisco how about a trailing stop of half of the range okay so what we do is uh on the day where we set tp1 tp2 tp3 and tp4 because you know the the, the tp1 is your first target sometimes you have more than tp1 so you made tp1 as your first target tp2 as your second target so tp2 uh, TP1 is the size of the box. TP2 is twice the size of the box. TP3 is uh, three times the size of the box. And so on and so forth. In that case, the box will be your trailing stop. The whole box. Not the half of the box, but the whole of the box. The whole range. The full range will be your trailing stop. So when we get to that type of trade, I will show you how you can manage that okay let's look at euro dollar this time around i'm going to slow down because of our new commerce and i will describe the trade better okay all right so for the benefit of our new joiner okay this strategy is called simple breakout strategy sbs and that SBS strategy is very simple to operate and it's very simple to learn. Okay. So what happened is we find one hour session uh, in Europe, the first hour of European open. And it happens to be 7 to 8 a.m. GMT. Okay. We draw our high of that one hour and the low of that one hour. Okay. You can do this manually if you want to. However, we got uh, a, an indicator with, that is called sessions to draw the box for us. So let me quickly show you the indicator. Okay, so this is the indicator. It's called sessions. All right. So session indicator is what we that will draw this box for us automatically. Okay. So in the session indicator, you can set three types of sessions you can set the asian session you can set the europe session and you can set the america session okay so currently we are only using europe session before the end of this lesson today or this live session we might switch to uh asia or american session as well so that's why asian color here is none Hence, you don't see anything on the chart. American color here, USA color is none. Hence, you don't see anything. The only color you see here is the purple color, which is the uh, Europe color. So, uh, you will set our Europe to 9 to 10 a.m. The reason is, the actual time is 7 to 8 a.m. GMT. But I use a broker called IC Market. And IC Market is two hours ahead. So that's why I added two hours to the seven o'clock. It gives me nine uh, and add, uh, in relation to seven to eight GMT. 
All right. Excellent. I hope that is clear. Okay. Unkube, yes, your question is very good question. Uh, yes, actually, your question worked very well here. Let me quickly go back to GBP USD. You say your question is, can you trade the retest? Is it okay? Perfect. Perfectly okay to do the retest. Actually, sometimes the retest is powerful, more powerful than the original. Because what happened is a retest means a uh, price was rejected, but it came back more powerful than ever before. So let me demonstrate that with this, uh, the initial GBP USD which we, 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 we showed. So here, you have a signal here, breakout signal, okay? The price came back and retest the box. This is a retest. This is a retest. So you can see the retest actually gave you more pips than the original, uh, original uh, entry. So sometimes the retest is more powerful. But one thing is that you don't know whether you are going to get a retest in a day or you are not going to get. So if you wait for only the retest, that's fine. If that's your strategy, that's good. However, if you go for the main one, you, you capitalize on it. And if there is a retest, you also capitalize on it. So that's correct, Nkube. Yes, you can do that. Excellent. Good question. Okay, so let's go back to the Euro dollar. All right. So you've now seen the indicator if you are new. Now, once the box has been drawn in that one hour session, now it is your duty as a trader now to be looking for what we call the breakout candle, the trigger candle. We call it different names. <laughs> so breakout candle. So breakout candle is the first candle that is formed outside of the box but remember it must not be touching the line so you want a candle that is outside the box and not touch the line so that is our breakout candle so you start looking once once the box is complete you start looking at all these candles so you see all these candles are still inside the box so we don't worry about them once the candle start to form outside the box you are looking for the first one that is completely outside and it's not touching okay I know all my students know this question already, but I'm not going to pose the question. I just want to explain. Okay, Kube, no problem. You're welcome. <laughs> what if the retest happen within the first hour of the U.S. session? Yes, of course, you can. Because, you know, U.S. session is another session entirely. So, we trade all the sessions. We trade U.S., Europe, and, uh, and Asia. So, if you get your retest, at us but you must use us box okay you must use your ux uh box to trade us session so once europe session is over and you don't get any uh signal and you move to us session you switch to us box and you start looking for signal from there all right so new traders so look at this candle here this candle it's not considered to be a trigger candle because half of it is inside half of it is outside so that is not the candle we are after but check out check out the next candle here i hope you can see it i can see it here it is completely outside see it is not touching that line so this candle is what we call the trigger candle and once we find it we just start to trade right there we put on the market order to to buy and it gave us a great price because we are buying at the close of the candle and because it's a bearish candle we are buying at the close of that candle see it's a great price one of the best price we've ever got <laughs> so close to the line yeah <laughs> uh, my traders they know what i'm talking about <laughs> so so now we got that and now we need to find out what is our stop loss is over here and our take profit target is the size of this box. So let us measure the size of this box. Size of the box is 18 pips. Yes, 18 pips. So we are looking for 18 pips from here. So our TP1 will be 18 pips. 
our TP2 will be 2 times that, which is 36 pips. Our TP3 will be how much? 18 times 3, which is uh, 54. Yes, 54 pips, and so on and so forth. So let's see what we can get from here. Ooh, looks like we're going to get a lot. We're looking for 18 pips, TP1. 18 pips. So we got our TP1 right there. TP1 right there. 36 pips. We got our TP2 right there. What of 54 pips? Do we? Yes, we got our 54 pips right, right there. 54 pips right there. So we got TP1, TP2, TP3. Now, Nkube, let me answer your question about... Is that you that answer, ask question about trailing stop? Okay. So, let's say now you want to do a trailing stop. So, you will place three buy, uh, three buy orders or four or five or whatever you want to place. You split your lot into different small, smaller sizes. So, instead of trading one standard lot, you might trade 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 5 times. So, let's say we now have uh, three trades here. Let's say you have three trades there. So, TP1, the first trade, you set, you set the TP as TP1. The second trade, you set the, the TP as TP2. The third trade, you set the TP as TP3. If you have the fourth trade, you set the TP as TP4. Okay? So now you are set. So you buy, you've, you've bought three positions at this point. First order TP1, second order TP2, second order TP3, fourth order TP4. So let's say you, buy, you bought four positions. All of these positions, all these four positions, they have the same stop loss here. Okay? And then you watch what the market does. So the market starts, 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 starts. It got here. It hit your TP1, right? So TP1, buy. You made TP1 profit. You put it in your bank account. And then what you do next is your stop loss that was here before, you move it to break even. So your stop loss was here. You move it to break even. So it means that this trade whatever that happened to the actually you know what you don't move it to break even you move your stop loss to tp1 all right you move your stop loss to tp1 because your first trade has actually closed a profit so you move your stop loss to tp1 all right so now when the trades now hit tp2 here you bank the second second uh second trade you move your stop loss again to TP2. You have one more trade left. Now you hit your TP3 and then all the other things has gone because your fourth trade is not triggered at all, right? So that is how to trail your position if you are using SBS box. Okay, let's see more questions. All right. Okay, yes. Jocelyn, you understand now. What if the retest happen, okay, I've answered that question. Okay, you are welcome. All right. My trade mentor and professor, <laughs> you're just joining now. Okay, good stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so if you have not joined uh, the Telegram group, here it is. You are welcome to join the Telegram group because it's going to be beneficial to you. Okay. Okay, now I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you about trading competition we want to run. Okay? We want to do a trading competition for SBS traders. We have been running SBS now for a few months. And as you can see, it's a very successful strategy. Okay? But we want to test ourselves. We want to see how traders perform. We want to see how good you are. So we want to see whether you can mix it with any trader there and beat them to the money. <laughs> so what we did is we created, let me show you, uh, we created the competition. 
on this website this is this is fx blue okay this website is an independent website okay they use that website to monitor uh trade performance to display your trade performance on metatrader 4 platform so on fs blue fsblue.com you go to competitions when you go to competitions there are active competition pending competition recent competition so you will pick the pending because our competition is, st is starting in July 1st, 1st of July. So you click pending. All right. So when you see pending, you see your trade mentor SBS challenge. Trade mentor SBS challenge. That is our competition. Okay. So you click it. SBS challenge. You click that competition. So we already have four people have already joined. We only opened it a few hours ago. So four people have already joined and it's not starting yet. So once you click that, uh, the most important things you want to do is rules and join. So to join, you click join. Okay. So uh, if you don't have an account for this company, FS Blue, you have to create an account. You register. It's free registration. Uh, I don't know them at all. I don't have any affiliate with them whatsoever but they can display result of mt4 platform that's why people use them okay so you register here and then when you register you come back and join from this link okay however after you join you might want to read the rules for the competition okay <laughs> the rule for the competition let me quickly go through the rules with you okay so below are the rules for the july 2020 your trade mentor sbs competition these rules apply to sbs strategy in the competition run from 1st of july to 30th of september so it's a three months competition number one you can use demo or live account based on your preference so it doesn't matter which account you use it could be demo it could be live but i guess you want to make money <laughs> you don't make money in demo account <laughs> oh my goodness secondly you need to use the simple breakout strategy as taught by your trade mentor.com so you can only use sbs for this competition so how do we know whether you use sbs or not each trade must be in conformity in conformity to the signal from sbs box so what we mean is if you take an sbs trade let me show you again if you go back to the this trade here okay so we know where our trade comes from let's say this this gbp usd okay so uh, we know that we took our trade from let's say our trade is from here let's say this is our trade from that's a that, okay that's not actually the trigger candle let's look for the let's look for the trigger candle here so this is the trigger candle here yeah this is the trigger candle so when you do your trade we want to see your trade around the trigger candle you might miss one or two candles so right it's okay you might miss three candles or whatever it's okay you don't have to be exact but we, ju we just want to make sure that you, you are making use of this sbs box in your trading okay so once you've done that that's fine with us okay so uh once you are using sbs as your box that is fine you are free to combine the sbs with any indicator that will help you to manage your trade so it is up to you if you want to add a stochastic indicator or currency strength meter or average true range whatever indicator that you are comfortable with you can use it to manage your trade that's fine however you must be able to show that you have been using the sbs strategy because we will check it okay <laughs> so for more information about the sbs visit our youtube link but for all of you guys here you know the sbs already so number four we will not allow expert advisor to be used in this competition 
all trays need to be manually set so you know us already on the telegram group we don't allow ea uh, we want you to know how to trade first you must understand how to manually trade then you are in control of any ea in your possession you can direct the ea number five all accounts used in this competition should be unused account with a balance of uh we're going to change it to one thousand dollars okay the reason is uh it is not uh, so easy to open a demo account with a five hundred dollars most broker will be saying minimum is that a uh one thousand dollar or hundred dollars so we'll start with one thousand dollars okay but if you need to open a new account you can use this broker link here if you don't have a demo account you can use that broker link okay so you to take part in the competition you need to publish your trading account with fs blue life with these people here the winners <laughs> will be the traders with the biggest return on investment of one thousand dollars i said we are going to change to one thousand dollars because it's not easy to open a demo account of one five hundred okay so the competition run from first of july to 30th of september however the organizer may start or stop the competition early or late at their discretion we don't we don't wish to do that you can join the competition at any time after the start but all account must be at least one week of trading please note that you can only start trading once your competition registration has been confirmed you are not allowed to start with any active trade or old trades please allow an hour after linking your account to fs blue and to the competition before trading okay your FS Blue trading account link must be made available for auditing and verification at any time. You are not allowed to block access to your account using a PIN or password. This is just for people that want to manipulate the system. They don't want to show their real account, but they want to show somebody's. They want to show a fake account, so they won't let you check the account and they will block. That's why we say no. You need to publish your account with this independent uh, uh, website. Uh, thousands of people use this website, not just uh, your tradementor.com only. Okay, number 12. Listen, there are three prices in the competition. First price is 400 US dollars. Second price is 200 US dollars. And third price is 100 US dollars. To give everybody a chance of winning, a single trader can only win one prize. So what that means is, you cannot create three different accounts. You say account A, B, and C. And let's say you are very good with SBS strategy, as I know most of you are so good. And you are the owner of account A, you came first. You are the same owner of account B, you came second. <laughs> You are the owner of account C. You came third. So, one person, three accounts. And you came first, second, third. So, we want to share the opportunity to everybody. So, we say you can only win once. You can't win three times. Okay? I think that is fair, right? <laughs> Number 13. Winners may be required to give competition organizer a read-only password for their trading account in order to verify the result. They will also be required to share all their trade settings. That is normal, okay? Before you start trading, you need to notify us uh, notify us with your competition name and email address. Send to this email address just to know that you are taking part. Result must be positive to qualify for a prize. What that means is that uh, you cannot uh, come with a negative result and win the prize, even though you are the best. But if it's not positive, you are not going to win because you, we don't want you to come and uh, win with a negative result uh, with a loss please know that cash prices will be paid via paper so you need to provide your paypal email address okay metatrader 4 users must publish their result using fs blue publisher ea or account sync so you can get all those information from fs blue so that is it 
that is all the uh, that is all the rules. I hope it is all clear. Okay, so here you join from here, and you read the rules here. So to open a new account with these people, you click FS Blue Life. Now because you don't have a login yet, so you come to here. You say register with FS Blue. You choose which platform you use. If you use MT4, you choose it. If you use MT5, you choose it. Or if you use MT, uh, this one. But um, if you like, depending on how you want to sync your account, the majority of people use this account sync method. So you click register here with MT4. If you are MT5, you click register. Remember, you are registering, or you're registering with FS Blue. Okay. So you click register. These are the information they will ask you. Say what is the broker server? So for example, I use IC Market. So I will choose IC Market. If I'm using demo, I put demo one. If I'm using live, I look for the live, live, live four, whatever I'm using, live four. I put my account number. Let's say my account is three four five six seven eight or three four three four three four. And you remember that you have two passwords. You have read only password, so you put the read only password here. Uh, let's say that's your password. You put it there. You put your email address here. You put your email address and click register. That's all. Once you click register, uh, these people will send you one uh, email. No, they will send you a text. I think. I think an email. So to confirm your email address. So they will ask you to email them. They put, give you some email address to send email to. Once you confirm your email, then you are registered you register with them. And then you just come back here again and say join. Okay, so once you register with them, you say go to pending your trade mentor challenge. And you say uh, join. By then, you know, already you have registered. So you just log in and then you join. That's it. That's it. So it's going to start July 1st. Okay. So competition will start July 1st. Any question? <laughs> okay. The link to the broker. Okay. Uh, let me look for the link to the broker. Link to the broker. Okay, this is the link to the broker here. Okay, if you have any questions about joining this competition, uh, you can go to the uh, Telegram group and ask the question there. There will be a lot of people to answer your question. Okay, Telegram group is the best place you can go and you see a lot of people ready to help. Okay, so will you provide the link? So I've given you the link to broker TP one two T three. So you open uh, Francisco open an account with FXCM, which takes a five digit password, but the FS Blue asks for more than six digit. No, no, no. Let's check it. Let's check it again. Let's check it again. FS Blue. Uh, MT four. No, it's it, it doesn't actually tell you how many how many uh how long your password must be, uh, account number and whatever FXCM. Okay, let's go to FXCM. FXCM. Okay, so FXCM. FXCM. I hope they have it. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Let's assume that you are talking about FSCM. Uh, let's say you are talking of FSCM real. Then you put your password here. You see, these people, F, uh, this FS Blue, they don't control what you put there. It is FSCM that control your account number and password. These people will not know what your password is. Only that automatically your results will be published on their website that's why they need that uh read only password they don't know what it is so you put your read only password and then you put your email address that's it and you register okay what if paper isn't available in my country okay if paper isn't available for your country we will sort you out 
we find out what is available in your country and we pay the money to you okay if you win if for example you are in nigeria we can pay you in uh, your currency in naira or uh, if you are in another country and you can't uh you can't you don't have a paypal let us know we arrange how you can get your money okay we don't have paypal i believe okay no problems um any anything you can use to pay what what payment method do you use in angola we can transfer to your bank as well if you provide your bank account detail we can transfer to you direct okay okay so let us know in advance that you know this is the payment method that you you want to use so that it will be easy when you win the competition yes that's correct reminus the demo account you saw um asi market don't have 500 dollars you are correct uh register for 1000 us dollar account we are going to change it to 1000 uh, 1000 us dollar we just realized that 500 dollar is not available so it will everybody will start with 1000 us dollar okay so never mind just register with 1000 us dollars and uh, you'll be fine okay good stuff all right thank you so much let's go back to our work let's go back to work all right so let's look at so we haven't finished this yet oh no we finished that right so we finished that uh let's see usd six francs oh this one is a good one today good one today okay by the way let me give you the link to let me give you the link to the to the competition okay let me send you the link to the competition uh let's go to pending let's go to sbs challenge uh sbs challenge okay i think it was uh it actually if you look at um we posted it we posted it already on the telegram group okay let me show you on telegram group okay this is a telegram group here okay i just want to show you where we posted it all right all the sbs where is it all right yeah yeah this is watching that okay this is it so let me copy this link here uh, I will copy and post here for you. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the link for the competition. So if you want to join the competition, click there. Yes, so we are going to publish. Uh, yes, we're going to publish the, the winner, but we will respect your privacy. Uh, we'll publish the winner. We respect your privacy. If you don't want your name to be announced, but uh, at least your result must be announced so that people knows that it is not a uh, uh, fake <laughs> it's not a fake news eh? <laughs> I, i'm i'm putting my eye on some of you guys to win this thing i'm put i'm i'm hoping that one of you guys will win this thing especially you veterans veterans this is your time right I know you veterans there this is your time to shine <laughs> i'm i'm putting my i'm pinning my hope on you yeah <laughs> and uh for for people that wins you know that's the beginning of uh, forex life for them because in life once you break out of the pack you know you have a uh, 100 people that started a, a marathon race right and eventually by the halfway you out of 100 people maybe only 10 left that in the front front runners and by the time they have about let's say one mile left is only three guys that is left so these three guys they will battle it to the finishing line so i want to see who are the three guys who are going to battle it to the finishing line <laughs> i hope i'm wrong that it's not going to be three maybe it's going to be 50 guys battling it to the end yeah Veterans, here you go. Let's see your head. 
veterans let's see your hand okay so ladies and gentlemen you need to <laughs> let's overrun them <laughs> well you know what happened now the newbies can form a group a group of newbies and they could do well as well you know don't don't count them out yet okay <laughs> don't count out the newbie some people will pretend that they were newbies but they are not they are pure professionals <laughs> they have 20 years experience in their belts you know they'll say oh yeah i'm, I'm a new i'm a newbie uh, i just joined your club you know i just joined you but they have 25 years of experience <laughs> oh my goodness Jeez. all right let's look at let's look at uh, any questions we we answer questions oh my goodness you have posted a thought on okay where did you post it is it on telegram let's check you posted it on telegram okay let's check is it on telegram i hope so uh where did you post it third uh then see uh, who's that uh robert 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 okay 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 uh okay let me see all right i will check your thought is it on youtube you post it okay all right so when i find the thought we carry on okay okay we carry on when i f no youtube okay let me check that out i i miss it uh can you okay i think in good uh it's good to raise the price to 10 as there are, there are many people to be more representative okay you mean what you are suggesting that is there should be 10 winners is that is that what you are suggesting 10 winners right is that you're suggesting 10 winners okay that's a good idea it's it's worth considering okay this competition is for you you know it's not for me so we have to do what what uh, makes you guys you know what will make you join it and what will make you uh do it what will excite you to do it because without excitement without a reason it is difficult for people to put their mind into something but when there is a reason and there is a excitement then you're gonna do it okay hello yes okay okay good idea if uh, robert hello miss dare please what do we do if the retest is in another session yes i've answered that question okay so if fine if you get to another session the advice is to use that session box the previous session box will become invalid so let's say for example if you are trading asian session and you didn't get any signal and you got to europe session you have to forget about the asian box and start using europe box so once you are using euro box if you get a session fine if you don't get sorry if you get a signal fine if you do not get a signal in europe when you get to american session you forget about euro box and start using the american box or american session box okay so that you are not confused otherwise you might be looking for the trade for the 24 hours you start in asian session you carry on to europe you carry on to america and you are still using asian box which is only seven pips you know because asian box is used to be very small compared to europe and america i hope that is clear right <laughs> okay so uh that had you uh, you said uh, two months too much well we consider whether we should do it in a short period of time but now we realize that we need to give a lot of people opportunity to multiply their uh, their, uh, their capital so uh some some competition when they start they give people ten thousand dollars or they say you can start with hundred thousand dollars we believe that that is a wrong way of doing things if you really want people to make money in forex because you want to try to create that uh psychology 
when you are trading so everybody i want you to treat this competition as a live trading whether you are using demo or you are using your real account treat it as a real trading because there's something to be gained there so you want to build yourself up you want to build your psychology up during this competition when you build your psychology up during this competition then when you go live on your own account you won't make mistake because you just continue so we think uh, if we do it in a shorter period let's say one week or two weeks or one month uh, it's not enough to build if a, a 500 dollar account or 1000 account to a sizable number so we are thinking that within three months some people might be able to make 20 percent return some people might be able to make 50 percent return I don't know whether you can make a thousand percent is done, <laughs> but you should not over trade. You should not take excessive risk. You should trade as if this is your life account. Okay. So it's a good suggestion, but we want to make sure that the trader have complete uh, psychological um, uh, understanding of what they are doing. So subsequent, maybe after this competition or even before this competition end, we might do another one, but for a short period. We might even do a two weeks competition or even a one week competition. But this one is the first one. We want to make sure that everybody joined. And because we are talking of our SBS strategy, we want to name the winner. We want to choose our SBS man. So it's going to represent SBS and anywhere that we talk about that strategy you know it could be the face of sbs <laughs> or she could be the face of sbs all over the world so we don't know yet we don't know where that we go this this person either a man or a woman or other maybe more than one person you know they could go a very 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 long way okay excellent so let's come back to trading ladies and gentlemen that's what i want to do <laughs> okay good stuff okay so uh when we set the stop lot as the uh lot size after you're asking about lot size uh we said the maximum lot size should be one standard lot maximum is one standard lot so it's up to you what you want to trade from 0 0.01 to one standard lot but we don't want a situation where someone has a one thousand dollar account and they are taking because they have a maximum leverage from uh, from a broker that give them a one to one thousand leverage and suddenly with a thousand dollar account they are trading 10 standard lots that is not going to work in life trading okay it's going to blow off account so we restrict it to the maximum standard it's a standard lot one lot size one standard lot so and the winner is the person that has the highest equity return we didn't set too much things like uh drawdown percentage or equity if your equity is below certain level you are out no 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 nothing like that the only condition is whoever that has the highest profit at the end of the day wins but your highest lot size is one standard lot hello who is this luna oh where are you coming from <laughs> you just join us is it or oh, you've been hiding uh you are not showing your face yet uh right yes we can use uh, asian session and we can use sydney as well shabalala mojalefa hello yes hello okay so let's quickly do this one now so this is usd six francs so i've shown you even when, whether you are new you are old you are just coming or you are returning uh student sorry i don't call anybody old <laughs> that's not acceptable uh there's no old here uh you are returning uh trader okay excellent returning trader fingers on the buzzer please everybody fingers on the buzzer okay so tell me which one is the trigger candle here starting from this big long candle this is candle number one that's candle number three that's candle number three that, sorry
candle number one, candle number two, candle number three. Let me make it bigger. Okay. Fingers on the buzzer. One, two, three. Fingers on the buzzer. Don't make me jealous, Larry. <laughs> oh, I don't know who's going to win this competition. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so fingers on the buzzer, one, two, or three. Okay, so Wasame two, Kube two, Jacob two, Morris, how long live? The <laughs> ah, stop that, Morris. <laughs> I can't even read it. <laughs> Jayesh, Robert, Adekule two, 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 Jocelyn two. Jason to Mojalefa to Oscar to Paul to uh, Agu to Morris to excellent. I think I'm I'm seeing a lot of improvements in all the students here. Everybody is doing very well. You seem to know this thing now at the back of your hand. You know? Do you know what they say about professional traders? Maybe some some professionals here can can bear me witness. They don't use complicated systems. The, the traders that trade on the Wall Street, in fact, some of them don't even use anything. <laughs> or maybe they just have one, one little screen they look at and they, they trade millions of dollars. But when it comes to retail traders, you see quite a lot of indicators, quite a lot of systems, complicated issues. Some of, some of the professionals, when, if you ask them what is ATR, what is uh, stochastic, they say, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't do I don't do tokasi. I don't do I don't do a uh, uh, chimoku. Uh, <laughs> I don't do Keltna channel. I don't do Donchian channels. You know. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep it simple. Uh, keep it simple. That's the name of the game. So, so if you are able to find a system that works for you, uh, it is uh, it is making you money. Uh, then do it. So you, you guys should know that this system is difficult for a broker to stop you from making money. Why? Because they cannot mani manipulate the price against you now. It, it, you are not using any kind of a cross that, you know, because all the indicators, brokers know how they work. Okay? So they know if you use a moving average 50, when price is above moving average, everybody knows it. Okay? But for SBS, you know what? It's just a moving target. It's not a fixed anything. It's a moving target. Your candle can be number candle five today. Tomorrow it can be candle ten. It can do candle fifteen. The next day it can be candle one. So it's a moving target. All right. So Robert, uh, face of SBS, <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, <laughs> we are searching. We are searching for SBS face. <laughs> Yeah, you are right, Jocelyn. You know, um, the retest looks like a very good safe to enter. I've, in fact, there's a guy on the on the uh, Telegram group. I can't remember his name now. On the Telegram group, I think his strategy is a retest. I think he based his SBS on retest. So only trade. Let me see this one. He only trade when SBS retest. Okay, so for example, let's say, let's say this is SBS now, right? So this is not actually a retest because it has to come back and so you go, you go, you go long here. Okay, so you go long here if you are going for the first uh, trade, but if you don't go long there, you wait for a retest of the line. So when you retest the line, then you have another opportunity to go long there. So retest is a fantastic way to actually trade SBS and as we have said your strategy or your exit depends on you all you need to show us is that you have entered your trade through SBS that's all the rest is history the rest is your judgment because we are looking for somebody that is innovative somebody that can take SBS to the to, to personalize it and make use of it themselves okay so i can't remember the name of that guy but uh he uses a retest he always like a retest okay so this 
look this is a uh this is a retest as well you see this is the first entry there let's assume this is the box this is the first entry okay the price come down in the box it retest again that's that's another entry it come back in the box and retest again that's another entry so you got three entries there okay so that's good so this this guy is drawing the box correctly you know excellent so for for this person right now this is the box the box hit tp1 i think it hit his tp2 great stuff so box is so easy to follow you know i don't know these people i'm just showing their trade just showing what they post so sandile let me let me give a shout to sandile Sandile, you've been great today, not just today, but you've been very good on the on the Telegram group. Thank you so much. You have been answering a lot of questions. I can see you can see Sandile. Sandile has been very good. People in the group are so good. I always read every message. Thank you so much. You've been fantastic. You're already becoming a, a part of the face. huh? <laughs> You are becoming part of the face. I see a lot about Clement Agbo as well. Clement, well done. Good, good job. Okay, is ah Robert. I'm giving a shout to Robert. Robert has been so excellent. He's been so excellent on the Telegram. If not for people like Sandile, Robert, Agbo, you know, answering a lot of questions, where people will not join the group because when they post the questions and no one answers. Then what's the point? What's the point? Okay, Kube Sandile. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, what's the point? So, Robert has been good. He's been answering questions. Uh, let me shout out to a few other people as well that I've seen their names come up all the time. Sorry if I miss you out. Uh, if I miss you out, sorry about that. But I just want to call out some names that I... I know I okay loving hike I say loving hike also uh, yes loving hike has been good but I want to ask you guys to please answer questions when new traders join when new people join and have questions answer them politely you know answer them with uh, with kind of a humility and respect let's respect each other um, the world can be better when we give ourselves respect okay so let's see let's see who is uh trader newbie yes trader newbie has been good it's been good see is it i think yes yeah, it's trader newbie that is posting uh is a uh, is a uh, chart can you see let's say you are trading this chart ladies and gentlemen what can be bad you see you enter from here you make your tp straight away you go to this box again you make your tp you get to the next box you are targeting tp1 in fact this 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 gentleman here gentlewoman is set his start tp1 2 3 4 5 hey hope he gets there <laughs> hope you get there man good stuff i like that uh our motto is hope for the best and uh, uh wish for the best and uh, hope for the best you know <laughs> what do we say <laughs> so he's hoping for the best he's planning for the best and he's uh, hoping for the best excellent okay so good stuff all right let's see more so loving ike is good uh i've talked about clement i've talked about trade newbie uh let me see more people uh let's give a shout more Sorry if I don't call your name. It means that I haven't seen your name uh, very often. That's why I didn't call it. Uh, the ones I've seen often and they answer questions and they are helping other people. I give a shout out. All right. Thank you so much. So, so if you haven't joined Telegram, you have to join. Okay. Look at the number right now. We are 969. So in no time, we're going to hit a thousand subscribers or try thousand people. And if you are trading with thousand people, you know what that means? It means you are in a group of successful people trading the same strategy and you can lift yourself up through there. Okay, excellent. All right, let's go back to our trading. All right, so we said 
uh candle number two is our trigger candle so let's put our buy order there or sell sorry so we sell at candle number two we sell at candle number two where do we sell we sell at the candle number two let's zoom let's zoom out okay zoom out so we sell at this candle number two our stop loss is right at the top here and our take profit is the size of this box so let's measure it size of the box oh very small today 9.4 let's just round it to 10 so size of the box is 10 pips so let's see how much we make in total we make 37 pips in total so that gives us tp1 tp2 tp3 okay we can go on and on today i think it's a very good day for sbs right i hope you agree with me it's a very lovely day for sbs look that is also this is pip galore this is what they call pip galore <laughs> okay paul paul i've been late can you tell me how to enter the competition oh you've been late okay so it's not difficult uh, i'll send you the link to the competition i guess that's the link yes that's the link so you are going to register for the competition from this website fs blue they are third party website that lists uh, people's um, performance so you cannot uh, the performance cannot be tampered with you cannot uh fake it so it has to be genuine performance okay so you go there that's our competition and then you register your interest okay uh bubble uh, uh retest the candle gets into the box is it safe to take another position when the candle is inside the box no 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 you must not do anything inside the box nothing must happen inside the box all must happen outside so what we are saying is let's go back to gbp usd okay let's use gbp usd example okay so let's say that's the box okay that's the box this is re-entry price went back inside the box so you don't do anything the inside the box is forbidden for sbs traders repeat after me <laughs> inside the box is forbidden for sbs traders write that down in capital letters okay so nothing must happen inside the box this is a trap so don't call it a, a box call it a trap i don't want to be inside the trap so never do anything inside the trap so only re the retest this is a retest it come inside it came out also it's a retest it, it hit it it come out it's a retest it come out but these two retests are actually not a true retest for me a retest is when a box a candle come inside the box whether one or two or whatever at least one of them is inside completely and continue again but you can use this also as a retest because most of the time once it does this it always go up again so what you see is that the original direction is actually going long most people know already that we are going long early in the morning right but they have to throw a curveball to people first. They have to shake out some weak traders. So that's why you see uh, the bearish move. Just to shake out the people that are not strong with their conviction. So if you don't know what you are doing, you bought here, but you don't know what you are doing. And you are here, you take a loss. Say, so, oh, you, are run, you run away. That's why for SBS trader, never take this kind of a loss. Worst case scenario is come out, break even. And you are waiting again at the bus stop. That's all. Look, how many bus stops have you got today? This is bus stop one, bus stop two, bus stop three. So why rush? Why do you have to rush? Why can't you have a patient? Don't rush. Just wait. The train is moving. The bus is moving. Just make yourself available at the right bus stop. Simple. So if you miss this trade, another trade is here. If you miss this one, another trade is here if you miss this one another trade is here so what can we say so good 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 so this is what we call a retest it comes inside the box but you must take a trade outside the box thank you so much i like your questions today they were very good question 
Ah, uh, thank you for your answer for the competition. Okay, you are welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, Osogbe. <laughs> Ade is forbidden inside. Yes, inside. No inside knowledge. No inside information. We don't trade inside information here. Yeah. <laughs> inside the box is forbidden for SBS traders. That's correct. <laughs> Life na <now>, JJ. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> okay good stuff all right so now we know the box is right and for this fingers on the buzzer let's do this let's do this one very quickly uh, before we round up today let's do it quickly fingers on the buzzer okay all right i'm gonna make it a bit harder for you guys especially the new ones i want to really test your knowledge tonight okay so this is candle number one no, no, no. Sorry. Scrap that. Scrap it. This inverted hammer is candle number one. This little inverted hammer is candle number one. Remember that when I call number one or number two, it's just a fic fic fictional number. It doesn't exist. It's just for me to give you a quiz. So don't think about where I start from. It doesn't. I can start from inside. I can start from outside. All I'm looking for is that you know the exact trigger candle we are looking for that's all that's what is important to us so i'm starting from here now today so this is candle number one candle number two three four five seven what's our trigger candle let's see let's see let's see who, who knows what i'm trying to get at <laughs> inverted a hammer is candle number one candle number two three four five six seven okay oscar two okay three jacob three giants three you can see the answer is slow to come now is it baller three okay uh the answer is slow okay Morris three people are thinking about it yeah wasama four is more safe to uh okay okay Okay, Wasami four is more safe and clear. Okay, Mojalefa three, Seba 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 Seba. Are you just coming, or you just hiding behind the screen? Huh? You finally came out. <laughs> if fine four. Okay, Agu Chai confused. <laughs> confused dot com. <laughs> confused dot com. Adekule four. I'll go so yeah, seven. All right, I like that. Okoli four. Okay, Sandile, Nkube Sandile three. Okay, Osogbe three. Okay. Hmm. All right, so. This is a divided answers. I see some three, I see some four, I see some seven. Uh, what else did I see? Did I see anything else? Three, four, seven. Yes, three, four, seven is all we see. Hmm. All right. Okay. All right. At least everybody agree with us that it's not number one because number one is completely inside, so it's not the right answer. Everybody also agree that it's not number two because it's comp is one side of it is inside, part of it is outside. Mm -hmm. So it's not the box we are looking for. It's not the candle we are looking for. Now the question is: Is this candle we are looking for? But before I say yes or no, I'm going to pose the question back to you. You don't have to answer it. Just think about it. Is this candle touching any line? uh unfortunately this is the maximum i can zoom let me see yeah this is the maximum i can zoom okay what i can do to help you out i'm going to make this line a lot a lot thinner so you can let me make it thinner so you can see if you got it if you think you want to change your answer you are free to change your answer all right if you want to change your answer you can change your answer you are welcome okay so my question to you Actually, let me make sure that this line actually be on the line. So it's just on the line now. Okay. So the question is, 
Does this candle touch any part of this line? Candle 2, candle 3, candle 4, candle 5, candle 6, candle 7. Which one is the trigger candle? You have one minute. I will time you one minute to change your uh, answer if you want to. Okay, good. If I, you, you, you go for 3, Jacob, you stay the same. Wasabi, as the line got ticker. <laughs> you go for 3 now, okay. Are they clearly also go for three now? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I know the tick line also sometimes do confuse because it's so thick and you don't see the distance between the candle and the line. So you don't see the gap. Anybody else changing their mind? It's okay to change your mind. You know, Jason three. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, all right, Anthony, you still remain four, right? <laughs> all right, a so we three. Okay, right. So I'm gonna ask you: Is this line? Is this kind of touching any part of this line? Because to qualify as a trigger candle, it must not touch any part of the line. Is there any part of this candle touching the line? Right. Morris, you got it. Three wins. Morris has declared that three has won the competition. <laughs> three has just won the competition, has become the winner of the competition. Just long from that point. Okay. So let us put our candle back there. But this one has to be the thick one. Excellent. So we we agreed now, yeah. <laughs> we agreed now. So this is where we went long. Our stop loss is here, and our take profit is the size of this box. Okay, take profit is the size of this box. Uh, box size is seventeen point seven. Let's make it eighteen pips. Okay, just eighteen pips. Then we are looking for eighteen pips from here onward. Oh. Are we going to get 18 pips? Is it going to be difficult to get 18 pips? Maybe not. <laughs> so we got 48 pips. Okay, so that's about 3, three TPs, I guess. Yeah, yeah, about 3 TPs. TP1, TP2, and TP3. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Great stuff, great stuff. So, let me see who has registered who has registered who has registered we got we got a few people who have just joined anthony you're welcome dennis you're welcome uh adrahim you're welcome level hang fx level hang you haven't joined before oh okay you are welcome all right forest us you are welcome right at all you are welcome ronald you are welcome you just joined okay that's the new joiners we have uh frida also is a new joiner oscar hashai roro welcome everybody good stuff to have you in the sbs family <laughs> oh fantastic okay so uh let me send you the telegram group uh link again if you have not joined here is a group link so click that group link uh you can join now okay mr Dari, you say you will disclose disclose the price today for your three training programs that is correct that is correct so what i want to do today actually was to point us to the sbs strategy itself because I'm more interested in your success than any other thing about price or anything is not actually important to me than you being successful. So I want to bring this competition onward first to prepare you before we move to our platform. Okay, so once this competition starts, okay, and you start trading either your life account or your demo account, and when, when we get to the... Uh, session or uh, when we get to our website when we start to do mentorship you will have proper question to ask me you are not going to be asking me question that is not relevant you are going to ask me question based on your actual trade you say okay mr dare 
okay i've just traded three trades today i want two trades and can you show me what i did wrong in the third one then i will look at your account so that's why i want us to start with this first of all the competition so you have an account to show for it and i don't want you to treat it as if you are using your old demo account where you have hundred thousand dollars in the demo account or fifty thousand us dollar in the demo account or even ten thousand us dollar you you know and i know that when you are going to open your uh live trading account you are not going to put hundred thousand dollar there <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not i'm not i'm not belittling you but you, you i mean you may have hundred thousand us dollar yeah you might have it maybe maybe you have a ferrari or you have a lamborghini and you have hundred thousand us dollar i will love that but i think majority of us here will not start a life account with a hundred thousand dollars even with a fifty thousand dollars even with a twenty thousand dollars even with the ten thousand dollars even the five thousand dollars maybe majority will start with five hundred dollars or maybe maximum one thousand dollars so we need to make that a reality in the competition start with something that is reasonable that you can actually um identify yourself with excellent okay so after that yes i will come back with the package stuff but just be rest assured that you are not going to be um uh, uh, disappointed or you are not going to be uh, uh, discouraged from joining my mentorship program because maybe you cannot afford it don't think about that think about the great success that we are going to achieve together all right great stuff okay what happens if the trading trend crosses from the up can you explain yourself a little bit more jason what happen if the trading trend crosses from the uptrend downwards uh if you can explain a little bit more maybe i will get the question all right so let me quickly show you one more thing before we go let's show other sessions okay we we know we have asian session so let's turn it on let's turn the asian session on okay asian session we are turning turning it on american session shall we turn it on shall we turn american session on <laughs> some people like to trade america as well as uh, asia i do i do love asian session because uh market is very quiet at the time and uh is before europe okay okay so if you turn if you turn only the asian session on for example so we got the asia box here okay so for new zealand today for example okay this is this is asian box here so okay article oh everybody wants to turn it on okay you all want to turn it on all right i'll turn it on uh one caveat about that is that for the american session uh i'm still using a temporary uh, uh time okay i have not come to 100 percent conclusion on uh, on the box time okay so uh, if you find a better time for here you might want to think about it but for the europe session that is the permanent time we are using for the asian session as well the american session uh, is still debatable okay but let's use it for the for the test okay so this is the this is the uh, america this is the asian session box so let me make it bigger so you can see or maybe let me change the color to be brighter a little bit let it be brighter that one is too dark okay maybe if we make it uh olive olive whatever here okay it's better here so this is the box here so here let's say this is where you trade you started your trade in the morning today you started with asian session you are able to make tp1 because probably you make tp1 tp2 maybe tp3 then you move to that's why you cannot use the same box when you get to europe your box has changed so you move to europe session this is europe session yeah this is your box size in euro session maybe you can make tp1 if you are lucky 
yeah i think yeah you can make tp1 on europe session yeah we we, we made tp1 then you move to american session so your europe box stop working and you move to your american box okay even if you don't have a trade yet and you go to american session you move to american session okay so you use american box and american box you can get your tp1 tp2 maybe tp3 or definitely tp3 and since then so the magic box is the touch light it's like a it's like to show us direction of what to do and how to do it okay how do you join the group you mean the telegram group okay if that is what you are talking about uh ogunson yeah all you need to do is click this link okay click that link to join okay i hope it takes you there i hope it takes you there let me make sure that the link is correct let me show that the link is correct. Okay, the link is correct. Okay, so that is the Telegram group. Okay. Okay, fine. Good stuff. All right. So, everybody knows how to join Telegram group already. And you've heard about the, you've heard about the competition. Uh, the competition is starting next week, I think. So give yourself a chance to register before then. Yeah, it's starting next week, Wednesday. So competition is starting next week, Wednesday. And you know that the winner will be announced at the end of the competition. And uh, you must use SBS strategy only, as we said. Okay. So we got five people registered already. So I think uh, initially there was a uh, people have problems registering with this one, but I think uh, we know how to do it now. So if you want to register, you know, uh, I think I've sent the link already. Let me. Uh, so the link is there already. If you look at the chat. So when you get there, you go to join. And then you register if you are not a member of this, uh, if you've not registered on this website before. These are independent company. I don't know them, but a lot of uh, people use them for competition. If you look here, there are other competition that is going on. Not just, uh, not just, these are active competition. If you look here, you see a lot of active competition going on. See number of registration. So we want to beat this kind of registration here. All right, look, look this guy is having 800 registration but remember he has started his competition since january 2015. <laughs> the competition has started how many years ago five years ago oh goodness oh my goodness five years five years competition this guy has started his commission uh okay february so 107 so example this guy started his own uh, a few years ago so ladies and gentlemen we want to beat these numbers we want sbs to beat these numbers and we we don't want to do our competition for five years we don't want to do it for six months you know so we want to do it for short period okay this guy is doing his own for january june 21 to june 28 that's uh, nearly uh okay two one one and eight, one month so so ladies and gentlemen let's go to pending this is our pending okay so this is sbs so currently uh let's see okay so we are not yet at the leaderboard because some people uh, in fact actually these ones are expired so let's go to the ones that are uh, actually start date start date okay so how uh, we are the latest right so we are leading ladies and gentlemen even though we registered uh we are the newest to register but we are leading on the participants we're already five see even this guy who are starting june 30 we have more competitors than them and we only started today so ladies and gentlemen go and register yourself now and register your interest let us rock the forex market <laughs> 
all right okay let's go back to let's go back to our trade okay before we finalize okay asian session start in central time do i use the first two hours 7 to 8 p.m to draw the box what does sbs stand for okay sbs stand for simple breakout strategy on competition can we use the use sbs including indicators yes so uh for the for the competition you can use sbs including any indicators you want however your trade must your trade signal must come from sbs so once you get your trade signal from sbs then you can use any indicator to manage your trade if you like you can come out at tp1 tp2 if you like you can use atr if you like you can use a set a uh, fixed tp target target maybe 10 10 pips you want to take whatever you want to use is up to you but you must be able to show us that your initial trade is off the box either the us box or the euro box or even any any time that you are using but it must be consistent you don't want to use seven to eight today for your convenience sake tomorrow you change it to eight to nine the next day you change it to seven to five you know whatever so it must be consistent but it must be sbs please if you are new and not conversant with sbs strategy how do we get to use it before competition time okay so in that case um i will send you a link to uh one of uh let me see i think i have a link i can send you here okay let me see i can send you a link to the uh i can send you a link to actually the the strategy itself okay okay let me copy this i'm gonna copy this now copy all right okay let me copy this i want to copy this and send to you okay bear with me for a second okay okay let me copy this copy link okay so i'm gonna post this link to you now okay so if you are not if you have not traded sbs box before you can watch this youtube channel this youtube um video that youtube video describe all the functions of sbs okay uh how to trade it where to set your stop loss but i will tell you the best way you can learn sbs right now is on this telegram group okay so every morning i will come to this group and post my box because it's such a simple strategy to trade right it's such a simple strategy to trade the only difficult part of it is knowing where to put your box okay knowing where to put your box so once you know where to put your box like this fellow here this fellow know where to put his box the rest is looking for breakouts okay so what i do is every morning at about eight o'clock in the morning when the box is complete I come to the group and I will post my chart. So if you are still in doubt as to where your box should be, just wa just watch whatever I post in the morning and fix your box. But by the way, you will see a lot of examples of boxes, correct boxes that are posted. And that will help you to change your box and put it in the right place. So it's a great community where you learn from other people okay so i'm just trying to look for the last box i post if i can find it yes this is the this is the box i post so look at the time this is 806 right so the box was between 7 and 8 and at 806 a.m i posted this right so i posted this we don't know what you uh gpp usd we do because this is gpp usd five minute chart we don't know in the money whether it's going to go down whether it's going to go up but we draw the box and we send this to telegram so in your own mt4 platform 
you just open your chart at that time look where will my box be just put your box at the right spot locate this spot on your chart and put your box there that's that's all you got to do the rest is very very simple so i come in the morning i post this box that will help you as well excellent okay good 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 so any more questions we are going to round up soon any more questions okay so before we okay now before we go let's quickly do this um u.s session and uh, asian session so for this we make all our tps anybody want to see any charts any instrument okay what i mean is that if the sbs trading trigger candle move from an upward trend and crosses down below the buy other stop loss in this case can i place a sell trade you can only place a sell trade when uh the price cross the sbs lines okay so sell trade when the price crosses below this line okay here you can only take trade when the price crosses above and now price is coming down you cannot do anything here until here when prices actually is below the line so as we said inside is called the trap zone no sbs trader must be trapped inside this zone <laughs> if you are trapped don't call me <laughs> don't call me if you are trapped inside the zone <laughs> great stuff i hope you learned something today and tony how do i get the sbs box okay so to get the sbs box first of all you need to join the telegram group okay so because the box is inside the telegram group i'll show you where it is so this is the link to join the telegram uh we we are very polite in the telegram group we don't hesitate to uh eject people from telegram we don't waste time to eject people anyone that is rude we eject them uh, we are polite and we respect everybody so in the telegram group when you get there okay on the right hand side of the telegram group when you get there let me show you quickly on the right hand side where you where you join you will see these photos videos files shared links messages voice messages you are interested in the files so you click files you open the files open for you see there are 165 of them but you don't need all of them these are some of them are reposted so what you need is called sessions mq4 that is the indicator you are looking here this box here that is the box here just grab this put it on your mt4 platform and off you go if you need more indicators or some things that other people have posted you can have a look look around see what work ask questions from people you can see how many times they have reposted this the same is the same uh, indicator it's just reposted many times okay you have some currency meter and stuff there so all these things can help you okay so but the best thing for you is to join this group download the indicator and ask your questions people here will help you okay excellent excellent good stuff any question you are welcome all right so let me show you one more before i go before i go right now before i go let me show you who wants to see something else what do you want to see last order before we close last order uh, let's look at what uh we used to look at stock market let's look at one stock market let's look at de30 what does it do today uh, how is it today oh uh, it's not bad stock market is not bad so if you are looking into stock market this is dutch mark 30 you make good tp1 tp2 tp3 in uh, asia you make tp1 tp2 tp3 in europe and in america you make your tp1 here and that's it 
or maybe if you are in a trade right now it will be break even all right just want to show you that the sbs box is not just for uh for forex only you can trade 28 ps though you must be selective you can trade uh indices you can trade metals uh metals and you can trade even bitcoin let me show bitcoin <laughs> litecoin ethereum all the rest anyway so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for today it's been a great time chatting with you can we use one hour chat no we don't use one hour chat we use only five minutes chat uh only the only time for, there's no best time frame the only one and only time frame is five minutes that's all but remember the the five minute is not like uh, you have an indicator moving average crossing or anything the only thing the only thing we use that time frame to do is to know which candle is our trigger candle that is it everything else is price action excellent okay uh the period are all automatic no they are not automatic so you need to set the period yourself considering your um your uh broker but if you come to the telegram group you can ask question like i'm using pepper stone uh what is my uh time should be or i am on uh, fstm what pro what what time sh should it be or who is trading from india for example uh what time frame should i use for this also broker you uh emmanuel you want to ask if one gets out of trade at break even point yes does one lose nothing or one loses the broker commission okay yes yeah, so if you are if you get out of at breaking point yeah uh it depends on which account you have there are two types of accounts there is a uh, for ic market there is what they call raw spread account that one charges commission because they have a very very low spread okay the second account is called the standard account standard account doesn't charge commission but the spread could be up to one pip or plus okay so if you are using a standard account and you come out from break even your balance will be zero no no win no lose if you are using a 